Okay, oh, welcome back to part two. Um, so I got the lampshade and worked a little bit. So I then I decided to put a little shield up to block some of the light, and that's definitely helping. <laughs> and if you cannot hear the people upstairs, yep, I'm playing in the middle of the day. And uh, Silas is having a ball up there. And yeah, so it's also mean there's light coming from over here now. Lovely. <laughs> so we got that glare going on. And uh, I don't have blinds, so I've been sticking it up with boxes to try to block it. But it keeps falling down. <laughs> oh, that's my life. <laughs> oh, I'll never have quality content. <laughs> But we're slowly making progress, and that's what matters. So I've realized I made a couple of boo boos. One, when we actually got these two guys, they were actually we were actually supposed to read the back end of them. So we're gonna do that now. So first one we kill is Professor Nathaniel Taylor. I'll be dead soon at evidence. I'll be dead soon anyway, Professor Taylor admits with a deep sigh. If it's not you or the Brotherhood, I'll be the tumor in my lungs. He dumps the ashes of his pipe and sets it on the table before turning back before you. Fine, I'm certain it'll be the death of both of us, but I'll help you out. I don't know what you expect of me exactly. I suppose you find one of the Brotherhood's artifacts. I could study it for you. After an investigator has bought an old ticket, read the following. Oh, so he would told me I would have to buy this. But, um, yeah, that's not happening. And Dr. Wetworth, despite your best efforts, Dr. Moore slip away while you're occupied by his bodyguard. With a creature defeated and you hot in Australia, you expect he'll try to escape the city while he has the chance. After an investigator has sabotaged the train, which we didn't do, it looked like it would give us an extra victory and remove one strength for the abyss. So that's weird. So we got the Eclipse on Leo, and I noticed that, oh wait, uh, she's, uh, I don't remember exactly where we were at, but I forgot that there was no way I would have left the Ursula right here while them right behind them. So uh, she's definitely a three, so I, didn't, I know I didn't play her yet, or at least I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but uh, we're at Leo's last action, I believe, which is Eclipse, while you're at the other world to gain peril, which is not. If you fail, must take too hard or choose an ally asset to be taken. All right, so there's no way we're going to do that. So we're at uh, up by one, and I have to just put on the music before I forget. All right, choose another one, and minus one. So we actually pass, surprisingly enough. Okay, now it's Ursula's turn. She has plenty of, so she'll use Pathfinder. Do up there, and I don't really don't want to grab those because they're at a five. So she's going to explore, and we're looking for whatever. There's. Okay, so this connects to both of these. So let's try to get these all. So that connects to that, and that connects to this, and it also connects to there. <laughs> oh. As an additional action, you may ex explore sands, you must spend two resources. There is no resources on there. But it looks like we're going to take us to places that we usually can't. So let's do that. Let's spend our two resources to explore. Untouched vault. Nope. It looks like we're getting closer. The dunes of the Sierra. Alright, there we go. You must either take one damage or lose one action. Let's, um,. Well, there's two clues on here. Uh, 
Alright, let's see. So, well, let's do her special. Let's grab her one of the clues. So she's up by one. And we get Skull, which is a uh, nope. So we want to grab another action or lose, take one damage? Let's take one damage. Put it on her. Because I want to try it again. We're up by one. Cult. Plus one. Alright. We're halfway through how many do we need. Alright, enemy's turn. This guy can go here to her. Yeah, so he's going to go closest to her. And that's her prey. So he's going to go here. This guy is going to slowly go this way. And this. Can you go boom, boom? So he'll go here. All right, we just got one resource, one, one. I don't think we're gonna need this to remember it, but yeah. All right, Ursula, you get a manual dexterity that could be helpful, and you get Darren that will be very helpful. All right, now we put one doom on the agenda, then. We go ahead and grab this. Leo, you find a swarm of locusts. Oh no, that's not good. So I test three, I'm at one, a minus two. Minus one, so we have three. We lose by three, so we need to lose three resources. That sucks, but it is what it is. Ursula, under the pyramids. Same thing, but will. I was kind of hoping the opposite, because I could have used my manual dexterity on that. Uh oh, well. We're at zero. There's no way you can put it up. Skull. We lost all three of our stuff. So, take one horror. So these two gets discarded, and we take one horror. Let's put it on ourselves. Let's actually turn these to threes. Alright. Our turn. Okay, let's reset our dies. Leo, you want to try to get here as soon as you can, so one, one action. Now, I can go ahead and try to kill the thing that follows. I think that's what we're going to do. So we have to engage it, that's one action, and attack it, which is another. And I'm going to play Darren while I'm at it. Gives me plus three, so I'm at one, five, I'm up by five, eight. Eight against it, so I'm up by five. We get, ooh, that's lucky. Alright, so that does two damage because the machete, which kills the thing that follows, which goes back into her deck. Hopefully it doesn't show up again. Oh, wait, does Dark Sacrifice? No, that's only when we the, uh, the Abyss gets strengthened. And, oops. All right. So I also draw a card because of the Darren, which I get vicious blow. So move, engage, fight, and then I'm going to move again. But that's the last of his actions. I cannot lose an action, so I have to take a damage. Oh, and I forgot to do this. So one, two, three. It's Taka. I guess you're on. With me now. <laughs> so he takes one damage. Yep. Alright, he has that five, he only has three health left. 
Okay. All right, Ursula. Let's go ahead and investigate. For one, let's put this back in. Auto fail. Investigate again. Minus three. And for your last action, investigate. Zero. Sweet. Enemies turn. They're both gonna go this way. They're slowly coming up on us. So we gain one resource, one resource. Then draw a card. Leo, you get Cat Burglar. Ursula, you get Field Work. Field Work can actually be helpful. I'll move us to a new area and we can have a better chance for it. All right, put a Dune down. We have one, two, three, four, five. Next one is gonna uh, switch it. All right, Leo, you get Abyssal Reach. X is the strength of the abyss, which is four. I guess my four. I can get rid of my cat burglar to put it up by one. So we're up by one. We get bolt minus one. So we're at zero, so we pass it. Ursula, you get humble supplement. Spawn at any Cairo location with a Brotherhood enemy if able, it's aloof. So at least we just don't have to worry about dealing with that. Ugh. Let's put him all the way over here. Alright, our turn. Okay, let's put him a 4, let's give her a 3. Okay, first action, she's going to spend, put down field work, and then she's going to explore for one action. Oh, sunset blue ruins. If you have eight or more cards in your hand, you just stare into the swirling sands. Just and it looks like, can you guys see her all over there? It's all over here. There's two clues on it. That's not good. I was hoping it was going to be the other one because it, it looks like it goes here and here. But let's get our free uh, token out. And you're gonna field work. It's for up by three. <laughs> Fail. Even if she goes back, she's gonna. Could she explore? She can. We're gonna explore one more time. Where do I put that? All right. Untouched Vault. Which is connected to this and that. This is getting a little crazy here. Let's put her Dark Sacrifice right here. <laughs> There's two clues. One location left. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. They'll hit us for. Th if we can hit Leo, they'll hit him for three and he'll die. That's for sure.
Okay, let's see. How should we do this? These guys are going to come here and here, but I can also split them. Alright. Also, I had a Pathfinder too, but yeah. I think I want her to go over here so she can try to get that again. Leo? You'll only be up by you if he's zero. I think we want to use Vicious Blow to kill one of these things. The thing is, if I uh, melee attack the thing in a sarcophagus, that will attack me first. Yeah. So we need to uh, dodge it. These things look like, oh, not that guy guy's all over there. These things look like they're easy to dodge. Hunter. Okay. Do so four actions. So Taka can come out and help us, and she can also take some hits. I think that's what we're going to do. I can move, try to grab the move again. That's three actions and grab one and I can put Ashtaka out. So we can try here and save and next turn we can Ashtaka out for free. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Move. We're at zero. There's no way we can put our thing up. We get now you get three. No way. Move down, then grab one resource. Alright. Enemy's turn. Let's put her here and him here. Both grab one resource and draw a card. Leo, you get a flamethrower. Oh crap! And Ursula, you get deduction. That's going to be very helpful. And this breaks. As more and more victims fall to the curse that infected Cairo, a silent terror grips the city. When the night falls again, the streets are filled with sudden panic. It starts with turmoil outside the hospital as people demand to know what happened to their loved ones but, and what the doctors are doing to solve the problem. But before the long ride in and loo and erupt through the cities, but by midnight the streets have descended into utter chaos. Shuffle the encounter and add one strength. Alright. Strength is at five. That's not good. Garden of Shadows. When morning comes, the city is silent once more. The hospitals are overflowing with the night's victims and many more comatose people fill the streets. You invaded the sleep for this long, but you can go, can't go on for much longer. Fatigue has inflicted your toll on your body and mind. If you don't act fast, you'll leave the spell's next victim. We're still trying to get to this uh, act right here. Right now, I think uh, Leo needs to worry about these things. Flamethrower is not a ranged weapon, but it is a firearm. Which can work about the thing in the sarcophagus. Oh, so I think I know what I'm going to be doing in this turn. The question is, how do I want to do that? I can have Ursula dodge one of those. Move, evade, pathfinder to move here, then use deduction to get both clues. Probably best to do that here. Probably best to do that on the revenant, actually. Or do, yeah, because she is a good chance that she can get all those clues, other than grabbing her own here. But if I kill this thing, the thing in the sarcophagus, I would need my is your Itztaka or Flamethrower. And it's gonna to have to choose one of the two. And I think I'm gonna be using my flamethrower. I'm not gonna bring out the Itztaka. So, let's get rid of the thing in the sarcophagus first. I'm not bringing out Itztaka, so we'll spend three. We're we'll gonna have to get rid of our machete to bring out our flamethrower. 
which is all he's for. He moves to which the thing in the sarcophagus comes to attack. And we're going to attack it. It's at three. And then we're going to use our vicious blow. So we use one of our flamethrowers. Flamethrower. The enemy chosen for this attack must be the enemy engaged with the is with the highest fight. You get plus four for this attack. If this attack is successful, instead of standard damage, you may send up to four damage among the enemies in the area. But we're also using Vicious Blow. Man, if I know that, I may move them together and I could probably shoot both of them. <laughs> so, Vicious Blow increases my strength to two. That's plus six. I'm at ten against its three. Oh, that's supposed to be auto-fail. <laughs> it's an auto-fail. <laughs> does it retaliate? It does not. Oh. So, I'm at one action left? Because, no, I've moved. I used moved. Attack. Yeah, I have one action left. So, I just... I can't kill it. I now cannot kill it. Let's try it again. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> oh, that was just bad timing. So I did four damage to it. Fortunately, that was last of my actions. Which means he's going to hit me for two damage because it gives me a horror on my uh, psychosis. It's going to damage me again. So I have that, I'm at, um, five. Yeah, I could barely live without killing my, uh, DeLuca, Leo DeLuca. All right. Ursula. You're going to use one action to move, which means this guy's on her. Then we're going to evade you. And your evade's at two, so we're up by two. I don't want to do field work. No. So before he does that, he goes on me and I'll get a free investigate. But will he hit me? Will just hit me for one? On top of opportunity? There's still an investigate action. Sure. Oh crap. Maybe I should have uh, killed him first then. Oh well. You know, at this point, let's take the uh, chance. Let's have an attack of opportunity. Only hits for one. I think his special, when the Abyssal attacks you during his enemy phase, instead of a standard damage, it does the strength of the Abyss. So, yeah, he only hits me for one. So I'm going to use deduction and field work for this. So I have plus four. I'm at eight. So I'm up by uh, four. No, I'm up by five. And we get Skull, which is five. So let's make sure we got this right. So she's at four, five, six, seven, eight. Against its eight. So we do one, and we get both the tokens. I'm glad we just needed two, because Seduction will still give me that one. And we'll spend one, two, three, four, five, six clues. And we can finally get past the secrets in the stands. You are unable to find the Brotherhood's hideout, but you are able to find the agent that you interrogated in Cairo. Or at least that what remains of him. Inside the hall of an ancient temple, it's depicted a long forgotten hall. And it's depicted a long forgotten pharaoh. The man's corpse has been placed on a stone altar. His body is riddled with flesh scab wounds. You can't help but wonder if this was, in a way, your doing. You investigate the body, and the remainder of the half of the buried temple yields a troubling discovery. As you suspect, the Brotherhood of the Beast is behind the curse afflicting Cairo. You find several passages describing the spell in greater detail. Though these descriptions do not match what you have seen with your own eyes, the Brotherhood's tomes describe how transparent their victims to another realm, how they transport their victims to another realm, a place called the Abyss, a nightmare, uh, a nightmare escape from which dreamers cannot awaken. Each dreamer, their Trojan, Grows in strength. Place one damage token 
Place one, two dom uh, damage tokens on each Cairo location. Until the end scenario, damage tokens represent dreamers. Victims who have been cursed with eternal slumber. Holy crap. I don't think I have enough. So, two, two, that's a Cairo location, two, two, uh, well, that's all my tokens, so I'll have to start using threes. And there's all the dreamers. Set aside the Neath enemy into the play into the streets of Cairo. Neath. Any hunter from Neath attacks. When uh, Neath is dealt any damage from attack, there's at least one dreamer location. Remove the dreamer from the location and cancel one damage to Neath. Looks like we're gonna have to kill her. So let's put a witch down on the streets of Cairo to represent her. And let's put her over here. The Arrow of Judgment. The final records you described at a time of Reapin when within thousands of dreamers will be sacrificed. Armed with the Brotherhood's knowledge, you believe you can reverse the curse before they claim the waking lives of every last man, woman, and child in Cairo. If there is a dreamer at your location, test Will or Book X to attempt to waken the dreamer. X is the strength of the abyss. If you succeed, move the dreamer for, to your location to Neath as damage. If Neath has no remaining wealth, advance. Oh crap. We gotta go all the way back. So we need to do 10 of those. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this guy, he's not gonna move, is he? And she's Brotherhood, so this guy's gonna move and help her. Oh, that's great. I thought he wasn't going to be a problem, but he will be. Hmm. Okay, I think this is basically going to be it for this one, but still. Alright, so she still needs to evade that guy. So let's do an, uh, an evade action. So. Can't. Nope. Last action to evade. I can't believe how many auto fails and how many of those other things we've gotten in this game. <laughs> Zero. So, he's evaded. Alright, we get one. Also, one, one. So, this thing hits us for two damage and a. that. So, he's almost dead. Because Psychosis gives us another damage. Alright. This guy gets back up and goes to Ursula. We get that. Ursula, you get Jake Williams. And uh, Leo. Oh, and I forgot their Dark Sacrifice. One damage, one horror. Oh, Leo's dead. I forgot to because of that. Yeah, Leo's dead. <laughs> which means he, this goes right here. Which is before or after? That was before. Which means we wouldn't be able to... Um, we wouldn't have been able to do that. Oh crap. Because he would have lost his uh, clues. So, yeah, I, I think that's we're going to uh, call it here then, definitely. It was already bad enough as is. <laughs> but that's interesting. We go out to explore, then we come back. That's actually kind of um, kind of cool. I like this scenario. Very hard, but quite a fun scenario. All right. If, if uh, no resolution was reached, the city of Cairo sleeps and never wakes. In the west, the Brotherhood rejoices for their prophecy is about to be fulfilled. And deep in the land of their dreams, their chosen grips his weapon for the first time. Each investigator earns experience, which we're not going to do because this is a test. In your campaign log, record dreamers in the abyss. The strength of the abyss when the scenario ended, which is five. Record the brother agents who escaped and list the names of each cultist enemy that was in play or beneath the scenario reference card when the game ended. Record that the brother's schemes continued unabated. And that's it. So those little um, notes will actually go continue for the next campaign. The next, or should, next scenario, which would be...
the Night Strip Zerper, which I guess we're going to find the Chosen One and try to defeat him. And I think it's going to be an uphill battle because we did pretty bad in this one. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.